Mira, does my makeup look okay? No, I'm asking the lady. Mimi may say. Mimi keep his own mama boy, what is it? Um, people will see uh, around the world like, uh, good. yeah, I'm good. I can say I don't really give. Yeah, I don't really care. Uh, I, I, I believe that it's. Uh, The, n the new normal is to, is to work online. Yeah, is to cut down on, on physical contact. Well, this is basically us getting to live our lives on our phones. Not everybody is used to getting their job done on their phones. And I think they are also trying to tell us that we can still do business um, uh, on a digital platform. Well, for me, uh, well, I'm addicted to my phone. That's a fact. I love phones. We get to do everything with them. Like music, music is important. Pictures, memories, um, what else? Oh yeah, and also just communicating with people. My phone pretty much means the world to me. It is my sweetheart, my main bay. <laughs> everything to me my phone is my everything i know i shouldn't be saying this but I think my phone is everything to me that comes first in my life in terms of uh, banking in terms of uh, entertainment you you can't live without it it's not a necessity because <laughs> <laughs> i got my phone was 20. <laughs> so <laughs> but then it's something that we it really helps especially in the whole COVID thing i mean you get to go to the internet and then you know just browse and see what people are doing and pass this yeah. time by for me it was different i started with the landline then i went to the letters and i had a bunch of letters i remember when i used to get sad i just take all the letters i had i read them like revision and it's magical because it it evokes an emotion. It it uh, it took uh, much effort for a letter to be posted from one place to another, and uh, it was not as it is today, whereby you can just text and somebody receives in the nick of time and he texts back. Then you see them on WhatsApp, where I'm mostly active. Hi, Natasha, how are you? Uh, can I be your friend? Then you're saying, yes, we can be friends. I'm very social, like I said earlier. But then you see the person now is trying to send you love messages, trying to be more intimate with you than a friend should. Uh, telling you, I'm all about love, I love you. Ever since the day I started seeing your pictures and following you, I've been in love with you. Can we be friends, more than friends? Can you be the love of my life? Make friends, real friends online. Yeah, there's a possibility of it, but it's a small percentage of making true friends online. Because if you look at what online is doing to kids now, kids are, um, are lying online. They have to live a double life. It's double standards. I am someone else online, and in real life, I am someone else. There ain't no way that I'm probably going to tell you that I'm sad today and then you're going to say oh what's the problem but then in real life if I tell you that I have problems you're probably going to look at me like oh my gosh she's crazy <laughs> <laughs> get away from me or something uh, I don't want to hear your problems so yeah, I guess that's the difference uh, fun is, is a broad name but I think uh, it depends on uh, uh, someone's definition of fun but I think uh, when they say let's have fun, they, they just mean fun, but now it depends on an individual, what kind of fun. Yes, you can have fun on Facebook, you can have fun on WhatsApp, you can send uh, each other uh, uh, beautiful stories, in, uh, exciting stories, even uh, clean jokes. Um, I have been personally experienced having fun online. Yeah. I don't even know how you do that. 
Mm. Yeah. You have a party there, and there's news. I don't know. <laughs> but um, then, uh, if it's possible, but then there are online games out. where you get to play with a friend. Gaming online. Let's have fun online. How can I have fun online? The only time I can have fun on. For the moment I'm having fun online, I'm neglecting the ones around me. You know? So, I don't know. Maybe people can have fun online, but I cannot have fun when my niece is saying, Ah, Malume! I send the soap like, hey, Wugume, man. So, I'm killing one fun here and trying to impress other people online. Well, going out uh, to a club would be better because you're with the person in person and uh, you never run out, run out of stories to tell, you never run out of fun. But then uh, on the phone we have limitations, data might deplete uh, during a voice call and then you are forced to put that to a halt. Basically, the, 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 the sole factor of grieving, you have to be there with your relative or your friend to be comforting them in person. It's pretty much very easier and intimate to do that. If you look at uh, the, especially the first lockdown, I think uh, it was very traumatizing uh, to be you and your family in the house and you see nobody else you you get you sometimes even that that interaction with your family it 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 gets exhausted because you know you need to feel you know the intimacy when you know someone you feels some like compassion. they and they like you know and they like they oh. feel sorry for you feel it you know online it's but just like <laughs> it's like it just doesn't work like that yeah. uh -huh. at times you need to be physical with someone for you to really, you know, uh, be it you know, being happy, you just can say like high five. Then there is no one to hear, you know. You're like I, oh yeah, 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 something like that. So then you know, yeah. With time, we just have to accept it because that's what's going on. Maybe it's, we are going to eventually be part of it. But what's scary is, say maybe we get used to it five years down the line. Then the pandemic is then. This all the situation is then. Are we going to go back to being normal again, socializing as we used to? That's a fear.